I'm delighted that we're honoring three champions tonight. I also want people to know about the group of champions that make up Roger Williams University School of Law and uh, our community. Well, I think any time that we put a law student in the position of giving voice to people who really are in a system where their voices are rarely heard or not heard at all, uh, we are championing justice. I think a significant part of what we do in our clinical program is speak for those who are without voice and without power, and that piece alone to me is, is perhaps one of the most uh, important parts of what we do. The Women's Center Project is um, a program that I started my 2L year. It's a program where I get to go to the women's shelter and work with the women who are there at any given time uh, to uh, give them information about their employment rights and about housing rights. The important thing about the work that we do at the Women's Center is that these women are in there because they're homeless, they're there with their children, they have nowhere to go, and Sometimes they feel helpless or hopeless, and I think the great thing that we're able to offer them is hope. Um, we're able to go and explain to them that they do have rights and that there are people on their side that are trying to help them once they leave the shelter. And I think that being able to be a part of that program, it helps me to realize how much power I have in providing positive services within the community. Last year alone, the Roger Williams Law Students and the Senior Corps were able to put about $3.5 million back into the pockets of um, our neighborhoods and communities through the VITA tax program with those five sites. Every spring break, probably for the last 10 years or so since Hurricane Katrina, we send students far and wide to have an immersive week of public interest legal service. The students went to San Antonio to help the mothers that were being detained prepare for credible fear interviews for their asylum applications as well as help them prepare for um, appeals when the credible fear interviews were denied. And so a lot of the students, most of the students, had to meet with the mothers and their children in a cell. It was a cement room, um, eight by six, with tiny children who had no place to play. And so the emotional toll that it took was tremendous. The pro bono um, summer stipend allowed me the opportunity to be able to go to New York um, because it's expensive with living. Um, and so I was able to complete over, I think, 350 hours of pro bono services while I was there between the legal um, research and writing and then doing client visits, client interviews, participating in their family um, reunification celebration. So it was a wonderful opportunity with the Bronx Defenders. The collaboration between the two um, has really allowed us as uh, fellows at the center, as staff attorneys, to go out into communities that hadn't been um, represented before. A lot of the work, like the landlord-tenant work that we do, um, that no, no attorneys had been practicing in that area for almost 20, 25 years um, for the utility work, no one, no other attorneys had been going up to the division. So the collaboration has really allowed um, us to fill gaps um, for individuals who need representation but just didn't have access to it. In all of our clinics, the students represent clients who otherwise could not afford legal representation. Um, so certainly with respect to our immigration clinic and our business startup clinic, uh, we are representing people who really otherwise would be completely without representation. So we are uh, creating a very clear path to access to justice for those folks. I came from a long way, domestic violence, with my three boys. And uh, I was in the shelter. They find the Raja Williams Clinic, 
they called me they say you can trust them i said i don't want to talk to anybody about my situation the shelter said yes try to talk to them when i find them i came to see them i came here with the tears and trust very scared to deal with the people they changed my life they changed my kids life they bring a happiness in my life. They also bring a trust. They make me strong to have a good job today and having my papers and they make my kids' life easy and happy.